Hi guys, welcome back. So this is actually Sunday when I'm filming this and I've had a very long exhausting weekend. So I only have a few hours before I actually have to go back to bed to be able to wake up early for my work. But it's the last day and then I'm off and I've got some exciting vlogs to come along with it. So that should be super exciting for me and for you. But what not on about that today, we're on about printmaking and how my oil painting that I've been I'm an hour about for months. Honestly, I think I made it within a week and then I was like, I don't know how to carry you on into the next process. And I left it alone. I left it alone for a couple of months and then I all of a sudden had a eureka moment after submitting and sending off my Frontier Gallery artwork and it was a cardiograph print. Only when I was actually staring at this artwork did I realise that all the marks that I have and I need are actually physically on the board already. I just need to line it up with some some printing ink and then print it like a normal cardiograph print or liner print and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Originally I did I did cut it up into four pieces and that's because I can still achieve the large print if I were to do a large print of it within the I think because altogether it's about a three size whereas these are a bit more smaller they're just this painting's actually A2 size, but I decided to drop it down to four slightly smaller than A4 size bits and pieces just to make it easier, but it also means I can still do a large print, it just means that I can also do smaller prints in sections. And the main premise behind it is I went to Wall Street and I hopefully I'm pronouncing it off. I know someone did tell me on YouTube how to pronounce it, but I still can't pronounce it. And I was so inspired by the organic sandy grainy feel of the environment I, want, I took some pictures I actually did a vlog I'll leave the vlog in the description box if you want to see that and I want to do some sort of artwork to reflect it and <laughs> several months later I am at this point no idea if this is gonna work but you know what if you don't try then you're never gonna get anywhere so I have different sections but I've decided to start off with I think it was I think it was this one I wanted to start off with and the reason why is because the paint marks I've got are actually quite ferocious because they are brush marks and I feel like that's going to start picking up on bits of paper once you've wetted it ink and water with wet, wet ink and wetted water wetted water ink and wetted paper the transfer is fabulous. You don't need to press very hard. The only thing you have to be careful of is the bleeding and the fact that you might oversaturate the paper with too much ink. So bearing that in mind, I'm going to have to, well, go along with experimentation. Hence why this is the experiment. So it might not even work. I might have completely ruined this project. But you know what? At least I've tried because in a few years time, I might have to pick up again <laughs> because I'm so stopping. I make sure that every single project I start, I always end up finishing no matter what. So with this one, I'm going to go away and just line this up with some water-based ink in the black form and I'm going to wet my paper and then I'm just going to go from there and then we're going to enjoy a nice relaxing Sunday evening. Well, in your term, it'll be a different day, but for me, it's a Sunday evening. <laughs> one thing I have to note already is I have to be quick because the paper on the drawing isn't completely stuck down. Nice, clean, crisp print. Right. So because this is not a proper printing press compared to the one you get at university or college, it might completely flop, but we'll see. Here we go. That is cool. Definitely not what I was expecting, but I like it. It's a, de it's a development and process. What's really nice as well is that these bits remind me of the rocks that were formed, well, obviously man-made, for like sea barriers to prevent the sand from eroding away. And you just have that lovely wave feature about them. And then this horizon line, 
I feel like symbolizes the sea and then this is just like a close-up of the rock and then all these little bits are water it's a very abstracted version of the painting and I love it I really do like it and what's great as well is that that cardiograph slash painting slash mixed media piece will never produce the same print because it's not all hand printed one thing I would have liked to have done is not to have it all on a flat surface to actually do indentations but with that it's quite hard to do at home doing a DIY version you actually need a physical printing press for it to work but the marks that I've got you still got the brush marks on lip bits pieces of it obviously it's not just not as much as i thought but it's just the first trial and error you can see the little bits at the bottom and that is just really lovely it also gave me an idea so this is why you should do <laughs> ideas like this so these this board is actually got three mixed media pieces on it and it's covered in tinfoil not tinfoil it's covered in tissue paper which i've then painted on top and because it's glued down and painted with different versions of colour. The black on top of it actually looks really stunning because it's all textured and layered. So that could be the end game for my mixed media pieces as well. Rather than being, well, I could actually do a print version of it and then sell it with, with it to have like the positive and negative together. We shall see. So many ideas on such a little simple process. And for me, this is very much on the same streamline as my artist practice because printmaking is actually a very fond part of it. But ideally, I identify as mark making. So this just ticks a lot of the boxes. Yes, there, there is room to improve because this is just experimentation. But it's the start. I've now kick-started this project further along. It's further along than it was. And it's also maybe introduced printmaking, mixed media pieces into printmaking and how I can get the mixed media pieces into becoming this vast mixed media piece. Like I could do multiple mixed media pieces where I just print them all together to create such a process. I could get bought a piece of board and just tape down the mixed media pieces, cover it in print, and then that's my print board. You know, there's a never ending kind of thought behind it. And I love the idea of being curious and being able to experiment with, if I wanted to, I could go in and not show anyone but I feel like showing you the process of this whole project and all my other projects I've got on on the children's design yeah it may take me a while to get from A to B to get to finish with a masterpiece but it is a start and I feel like that start is the better is better than being at the very beginning but anyway that's me talking I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer them, either written or verbally on my next video. If you like, there's also links in my description box to my social medias, my eBay selling account, which is where I find where you will find all my artworks that I feature on my channel, plus a couple of extras. There's also a PayPal's donation page. If you'd like to make a donation, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you can't do any of that, please just like and subscribe because I'm one fourth of the way through to actually making some money from YouTube. But it's just the start of it. The more money I make from YouTube and my artistry, the less time I have to spend at my other paid job that pays the bills. So then I can kind of yin and yang it. So primarily I'd like to be able to do art for the rest of my life, full time if I can. And you can make the difference. So please just subscribe if you want to buy an artwork. Please look at my eBay account and etc, etc. But in the meantime, thanks you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.